Taurus, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this, Taurus. Thank you, Lord, God, for blessing Taurus with the clear, concise message from you. All right, so Taurus, let's see what this week is about for you. What is the week about for Taurus? What does Taurus have in store this week? Let's see. Okay, all right. The Ace of Cups, very nice, okay. Um, what is the advice for Taurus this week? Okay, so we have the Hierophant and the Five of Cups. Yeah, Hierophant and Five of Cups. Okay, and the outcome. The outcome, if Taurus takes the advice of the cards, is the out outcome. Looks like the outcome is emotional stability or balance. The outcome is the Four of Swords. Okay, so this week is about the Ace of Cups. All right. You could be finding out about a pregnancy. You could be pregnant. You could um, get a new home. Something you fall in love with here. Something that fills you with a lot of love. Um, loving feelings, emotions. Somebody is filled with inspiration, too. There's an overflowing love or emotion for a particular person, place, or thing. Sometimes this is loving someone who doesn't love you back. The advice is the Hierophant and the Five of Cups. For, for this hurt, this pain, this longing for, this missing a person, this feeling like something was stricken from you or taken from you, you need to go and get uh, help, um, guidance, uh, a guiding light, someone who can guide you through your emotions, your feelings, your actions here with the Hierophant. You're being that for someone else. Something happened, you found out something, and now you're at a place of not knowing how to even get back to this person because of new knowledge of or new feelings. There's a lot of time that has elapsed between you and another person. This could be a love affair. There could have been a marriage here, some traditionalism. You could have even lived with this person at a time, at one time. Um... It's like somebody wants to come back or wants to come home or, or, or there's someone, you know, engaging in nostalgia, thinking about the past, thinking about what they had, maybe even a friendship from the past. Somebody's thinking about how they can mend fences or mend the relationship. It says that the relationship is recoverable, but there's somebody needs to do the work. Someone needs to communicate how they're thinking, how they're feeling. Somebody's learned behavior, upbringing, is, um, is a barrier, is an obstacle in this relationship, in this friendship. It says that you're the guiding light in something that you do. The advice here is to be the guiding light, go get guidance, get someone who can bring more structure, routine, regimen into your life. Someone who could be studying religion, spirituality. You could be getting that guidance from somewhere, something. Someone is putting you into a more spiritual place. Or, or longing to be more spiritual. It could be getting over heartbreak, grief, a breakup, um, a relationship could put you in a place of 
actually uh, learning about yourself, learning about spirituality, engaging in. If you have some nudge that someone is thinking about you or is trying to penetrate your energy field, that is correct. They are. They're thinking of you. They're thinking of what they did, how they can bring this back. They have no solid plan. And at this point, if you did allow them to come back, they might just sell you a dream. They won't be able to solidify the relationship, the marriage, the connection, whatever it may be, even the business. They have a lot of ideals, but they don't know how to bring it into fruition or control it or control their own impulses or nature. Somebody is over. They do overindulge, overspend, overdo, over, you know, they just don't know how to find balance. The outcome is the four of swords. Um, you or the other person is going to be thinking about the future. Future goals, aspirations, plans. It might not involve this particular person, place, or thing. Some of you are saying that this is temporary. You guys will come back together. Or if someone feels as if if it is temporary, it will, you know, you guys will mend the connection, the relationship, the friendship. I don't know what it is. Four of Swords and the outcome. There's heavy suspicion of, therefore, I need to take a break from. That's maybe your mindset in terms of another person, place, or thing. I don't know. You're suspicious of something, so you need to take a break from it. You need to leave it for right now. Maybe you'll pick it back up. Maybe you won't. You need to retreat. Go on your own retreat, vacation. You couldn't even ask someone to leave the home. Someone could be thinking about the mother of motherly energy, mother, foundation, home, children. What does it mean? Will I ever have it? Um, trying to make plans surrounding the foundation. If you have one. Four Source says time out. So this week is going to be yeah, um, the outcome could just be a timeout. It's time to rest. It's time to stop thinking about this. It's time to stop mulling over it. It's just time to put it to bed for right now. Um, you're okay with isolating yourself from it, whatever it may be, person, place, thing, thoughts, I don't know. Okay, so this is your, look, let me get a Moonology card for you. What's the Moonology card for Taurus this week? So there's some energy here that is uh, something that's building up. And we see that because there's you, towards or the other person saying, I need to take a break from this. You know, um, before I uh, kind of spaz out. Okay. Uh, your situation is full of potential. Your dream can come true. 
more effort is required are you willing to give it more yeah i think that's what the four swords is about i need to think about this review your goals and ensure you're still committed four swords keep moving forward um just know that you're headed in the right di uh, direction here um whatever you decide you're on the right track um this is a positive card and it just indicates that you're going to create the re the reality um, you're dreaming of, okay? Uh, and it might come with um, just doing some personal work on yourself first and then moving forward. All right, so Taurus, this is your reading. I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below you can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link if you took something from the reading you can always give back thank you Taurus. many blessings to you take care